Hey, what's happening guys? We got a new kit build here today. Uh, this guy purports itself to be a battery tester. So, let's zoom in on this guy here. Maybe, maybe not. Looks like my little remote control is uh, nap time. So again, this is from icstation.com and it's item number 12003 and it's, um, yeah, it's that. That's exactly what it is. So let's open it up, take a look, and see what we see. You know, there's a lot of uh, these Chinese suppliers out there. And you got to ask yourself what separates one from another. Um, hard to say, but shipping time is a good thing. And I noticed IC Station does have some really good shipping time. All right, so here is the old schematic of the surf of the uh, circuit. This is an LM3914. Then up here we've got some LEDs. We have a switch here on the input. Another switch here. There's our ground. And it looks like we have a variable pot here. A 3K and a 5K resistor there. I mean, there's really... There's really, there's really nothing much going on here. So it says 2.4 volts to 20 volts. LED, LM3914. There's a the number 20. I'm, I'm guessing that's important. Uh, 10 LED, 10 LED. Um, 3 volt, 4.2 volt, 3 volt, 4.2, 6 volt, 9 volt, oh my. Okay, well, good effort. Let's see what we got here in this kit. So we've got the bar graph LED with our pre-bent pins, always nice. We've got the circuit board. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Surface mount resistors. Joyful. Okay. And there is breadboard so what do we know let's zoom in so our 5k pot goes here our 50k pot goes here 50k pot was there a 50k pot in that diagram yes yes there was I missed it We got a resistor there, a resistor there, and a switch. Yeah. Okay. Let me uh, have a look at this and figure out how it's going to go together. And we'll be back. All right. After some thinking and some researching, I have come up with the following informations. So this circuit board is double-sided. Now, the f it goes together Okay, so it goes together something like this. On the side with the chip printed we put in the 5K resistor there, 
although according to the picture it goes turned that way and the 50k goes there the chip goes in here I'll have to bend those pins but you get the idea and the 3k no I'm sorry uh, 3k goes on the other side so I believe the other resistor goes there all right so that's the chip side of the board and then if we flip her over this would be the display side of the board and our display if you see the red mark can, I don't know if you guys can see it or not there is a minus there and a plus there so with the resistor marks on the bottom of the board this is going to go in here like this with the minus going to the bottom and the plus going to the top and this switch goes there like that and the 3k resistor goes right there so that being said I'm gonna put it together all right so as far as I can tell for being the non-chinese speaker that I am I have completed all that needs to be soldered to the chip side of the board we've done the chip We've done the uh, 5K pot here and the 50K pot here. And I've done the 3K resistor right there where my thumb is. I know it's crooked. It doesn't matter. The electrons won't fall out. Now I've also trimmed all the pins. Let's see if we can get a better focus there. There we go. Yeah, that's not too bad. So now. All that we need to do as far as I can tell is solder in this thing hmm perhaps I should have soldered it in first well now Whoops. How 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 in the hell am I supposed to do this? <laughs> I'll be back. All right, so thinking, which is always a good thing, tells me that these are plated through holes. So it doesn't particularly matter which side I solder them on. So I'm going to have to leave this little display a bit proud and solder everything. top side which is what you're seeing right here so um, other than soldering in a couple wires to read the voltages that's pretty much it so I'll solder in a couple wires all right, I've got everything figured out now and uh, 
This is an interesting little unit that is adjustable for different types of batteries. Now I have it adjusted for a nine volt battery here. And just a note, this jumper pad right here next to the negative power input, you need to short that pad out if you want to get a full on bar graph display. If not, you will get a dot display. So let's take a look at how it works. Alrighty, I've got the lights a little bit dimmer here just so that you guys can get a better look at the LED segments as they move up and down. So here we have it set for a nine volt battery. And if I give it nine volts, we get the display full on. But as the power goes down and your battery gets weaker and weaker, you get fewer and fewer segments illuminated until finally it completely goes out. And like I said, what's nice about this is it's completely adjustable for any type of battery. So you can adjust these two pots here for your fully charged and your discharge. And, uh, this is relatively small. Let's see here. We're looking at four and a half centimeters long by one and three quarter centimeters wide. And in my build of this with the thing standing proud, we are two centimeters deep. So you can put this, have it stick up and you know, the rest can sit through. So pretty cool. Let's go take a look at it on icstation.com's webpage. Here's the item in icstation.com's website. There will be a link to it down below in the description. So this is the battery power green LED light bar display module kits, 10 segment DIY kit, 42 milliamp. That 42 milliamp is when all segments are lit. It's item number 12003 and it comes with free shipping. And IC station does have quick shipping, so that's pretty cool. Here's a little information about the the uh, product and uh, some information on how to set it up and adjust it so pretty small pretty cool pretty easy project to put together good on you icstation.com thanks for sending this for to me for us to play with uh, that's about it for this video if you guys like this please give me a thumbs up feel free to like comment share and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out.